It's a beautiful morning. Blue skies. Perfect for race day at Martinsville. Hey there, race fans. It's race day top five with me, Frank Five. Happy race day, everybody. I am heading to Martinsville Speedway for the first time ever. I have never been here. I've been waiting for this my entire life. It's been on my bucket list for so, so long. And I'm going to be able to go to the paperclip track today for the round of eight elimination race. And it's a beautiful day today for racing. The high is going to be in the low 80s, but that's still really good weather and really warm for this time of year, I might add. But I'm so excited to be at the track today for my first ever experience. And it's, of course, an elimination race. We already know the two drivers have secured their spots into the championship four, and they are Kyle Larson off the win at Las Vegas and Christopher Bell off the win last weekend at Homestead, Miami. There are two spots up for grabs. William Byron is 30 plus points above the cutoff line, so he's in pretty good shape pending any type of incident today. He should be good. But the final spot, it's all or nothing. Ryan Blaney occupies that last spot by 10 points. R Tyler Reddick, the first one below, he's below by 10 points. But then the other two notables below the cutoff line behind Tyler Reddick, Martin Trux Jr. and Denny Hamlin, two former winners here, are 17 points below. Now, they could still point their way in, but a win almost guarantees your spot in the championship four. And the other driver that needs to basically, well, not basically, really needs to win today Chris Buescher, he is below by 50-plus points. It's all or nothing for him today. It's a beautiful day. I can't wait. Let's get to the paperclip and get this show started, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Martinsville Speedway. Look at it. It's so close to me. I can reach it. I can reach the thing. That's going to be my section for this race today. Turns one and two, and I cannot wait. That's, of course, where Joe Illigano and Matt Kenza had their 2015 dump and crash incident basically but i can't believe i'm here and it's so bright out it's so hot but let's get inside but let's also get some snippets of outside shall we
The pace car needs a towel. That's funny. That's something you don't see every day, folks. Look, there's the spare. Always have a backup plan.
Larson. Who else? Laney Larson and um, Bell. Bell? Bell. Who's got that win? And then Byron. And then who, who's last? Byron. Take your hands off, man. Who's, the show's who's, over. who's top four? All the cars lined up on the pit road. First Byron actually came to a collapse climbing out of his car. I'm sure a long exhausting day. They did not have the car they would hope they had, but regardless, he has the points to lock himself in. It'll be Larson, Bell, Delaney, and Byron in the championship four next week in Phoenix. Denny Hamlin, who came in probably as the favorite, will not advance. What a long, wild day. Enjoy the Grandfather clock, exactly, man. I can't tell, Tom. Those things were the worst things to dad sold those. We had to move those things, then you had to redo them all. Oh, oh yeah. Nothing yeah. greater than They're not very poor. Lane, folks. Yeah. And also, what's better? A grandfather clock for your house. Half time! I just realized this, folks. After announcing that he would not return to the Stuart Haas next year, that was the last time I saw him come roll in a cup car. And that red car right there, Hunt Brothers, that is the last time live in a race car that I was seeing with a car behind the wheel. But on the right side, he'll be up there next year for Fox. Either way, you can see. Thank you, Kevin. It was fun watching you at the race I went to live. I got to watch you win some races. I believe my first one watching you win was 2011 at Richmond in the night race. Thank you for everything. And good luck in your first one song race next week. Thank you for everything. So they did bring down the, the flag for the main people in Maine. One of the other big things is the other thing that we could do. first trip to Martinsville. I'd like to thank everybody for putting this event together and I'm glad I was able to witness it firsthand for my first time ever. Definitely won't be my last time. Everyone's filing out. I'm one of the people that's going to be staying a little bit because we've got some burgers on the ground. But boy, what a day and look at that sky. Breathtaking. Bye turn one, bye turn two. Thanks for a great day, really appreciate it. Wow, what a day for my first experience at Martinsville Speedway. Truly a great first time here. My rating for today, I'm gonna go 8.5 out of 10. Really good racing, love my seats, love the experience, although I will say the one negative, the lines into the grandstands, a little too long for me but thankfully I was able to make it in time for the command and the start of the race. But what a long day. It was the pressure day for a lot of these drivers remaining in the playoffs regarding who was going to win, who was going to make it in, and who would be left out. At the end of the day, it's Ryan Blaney for his third win of the 2023 season, and he is in the championship four, joining Kyle Larson and Christopher Bell off their wins from Las Vegas and Homestead, Miami. And the final spot by just a few points goes to William Byron, who has had a career year, and he gets to race for a championship 
championship next week alongside his teammate. Two Hendrick cars versus a Penske car and a Gibbs car. The four drivers left out at the end of the day was Denny Hamlin, Tyler Reddick, Martin Shrek Jr., and Chris Buescher. I mean, Denny Hamlin had perhaps the best car in stage one aside from Martin Shrek Jr. He got the stage win. He finished second behind Blaney in stage two. But at the final stage, when they lost track position, it's helicopter going over right now. It kind of hurt them, and especially with Byron being able to pick up a few more spots because of what happened last weekend at Homestead for Denny Hammond. If that didn't happen, we are not having this conversation of Hammond being out. He would have probably been in by just a few points over Byron, but oh well, that's the case. And Martin Truex Jr. led the most laps today. He had perhaps the best car when he was leading, but a pit mistake in the middle of stage two, a speeding penalty on the exit of pit road, and he was by the way the first pit box at the en at the exit of pit road. He sped a little too fast, it got him pinned behind, and he never recovered. He can only get a top 15. It's unbelievable. The guy that wins the regular season championship does not make it to the Final Four. But there are some positives to look at for Martin this year. He got back to the playoffs. He won some races, unlike a year ago, where he didn't make the playoffs and didn't win a race at all. But there's hope for next year, I believe, for Martin Trish Jr. Tyler Reddick, his first time in the round of eight for 2311 racing, I'd say he did a good job, but just not a lot of consistency in not the luck, best of luck today. I mean, he really didn't have that balance on the car. They got in the top 10 at one point, but other than that, they just faded, faded, faded. And I think they had to pit late. I think they may have run out of gas. And Chris Buescher, obviously in a must win. The car was not good at the beginning, but they got into the top 10 late in the race. And then I think they faded a little bit. I think they still finished inside the top 10. Um, still a great season for him in RFK racing. They have nothing to hang their hat head down on. They had a great year and I expect more good things for them in 2024. But that's it, folks. The final race of the round of eight is done. And now it's off for a championship in Phoenix next week. I'm going to do the race recap tomorrow and I'll have this vlog out sometime by the end of this week. But I had a great time in Martinsville and I look forward to coming here again down the road. Hopefully I'll be back here next year for another elimination race in the round of eight. So thanks Martinsville for the experience. I had a blast. Everybody that's here in attendance and you see behind me, driving out of here have a safe drive back home and i hope you all watching on television had a great time watching the race yesterday i had a blast at the track it was so much fun but have a great night everybody and thanks for watching